All right, kids. Settle down up front. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, this being this meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, New Jersey Open Public Meetings Act. Notice of this meeting was provided in the annual notice of meetings published in the Union County Local Source and the Newark Star Ledger on January 12, 2023. Said notice was posted in the municipal building as required by law. In addition, a copy of this notice has been made available to the public and is on file in the office of the borough clerk. All contracts awarded by mayor and council must comply with the affirmative action requirements of PL 1975 C-127. Fire exits are located in the directions I am indicating. If you are alert for fire, please move in a calm, orderly manner to the nearest smoke-free exit. Proper notice having been given, given, the borough clerk is directed to include this statement in the minutes of the meeting. Andrew, please call the roll. Councilman Petrosky. Here. Councilman Johnson. Present. Councilman Signorello. Here. Councilman Robina. Good evening, here. Councilwoman Lyons. Here. Councilman Patel. Here. Mayor Signorello. Here. All present, Mayor. Andrew, please lead us in the opening prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Eternal God, grant us thy help in all our duties and perplexities. We ask for thy guidance. Give us thy protection in our dangers and sorrows. Grant us thy peace. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Uh, okay, there are no communications for consideration this evening. We have a bunch of certificates to give out. Uh, but first, I want to call up Councilman Rabina. Um, we're a little bit late on this, but we want to uh, talk about Autism Awareness Month. With many individuals and groups displaying blue lights and ribbons to raise awareness for autism throughout the world, and whereas it is in our best interest as a community to recognize the achievements in the field uh, and continue these efforts by promoting the awareness and fostering the, under the understanding of autism, now, therefore, be proclaimed that I, Joseph Signorello III, Mayor of Borough of Rosa Park, in the County of Union in the State of Rosa Park, do hereby proclaim April 23rd. April 2023 as Autism Awareness Month within the Borough of Rosa Park in an effort to bring greater recognition, awareness, and understanding of autism in our society. And Jay, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I just, uh, no, no, I just really shortly, uh, really quickly, I just maybe want to talk to some of the folks about you've been pivotal in getting some more amenities for the Century Friendly Park that we have coming down the way. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, do you want to just tell people what they have to look forward to? Sure. Well, on behalf of... Uh, we, we got a working mic now. All right. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much, Mayor Signorello. On behalf of uh, the residents here and the families of Roselle Park, um, it's... It, 
important that we raise awareness on autism. One in 34 uh, children in the state of New Jersey have autism. It's the highest rate in the nation. We've got to do a lot to, to raise awareness, to try to find a, a cure to it, uh, to try to find acceptance. Uh, this is all about inclusivity. Uh, I applaud your efforts and, and everyone here on council and the public who's been so very supportive. We were able last year, year before, uh, create a park, a sensory friendly awareness park, or sensory friendly park. It's to raise awareness. It's something geared towards uh, our children here in the community that have developmental disabilities. We are fortunate to have um, additional donations. We received, uh, I believe, $1,600 from Conoco Phillips Bayway 66 uh, uh, refinery. Uh, that money is going to be used to buy benches. And we also had a uh, donation from Vigo Gardens. They, have, they offer raised gardens. Those raised gardens will be placed shortly in the uh, sensory friendly playground. So it's something, additional amenities that we're looking forward to offering the public. And I uh, want to thank everyone there for, for the support. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that was an easy one, man. You just had to brag about the stuff you're getting. <laughs> uh, okay, so now, uh, boom, boom, the two Joes. Twin Towers, you want to come up? Um, so we will now have, Coach, are you going to come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got to, just to set the table, we have a bunch of, obviously, we, I know you guys aren't here for, uh, Oh, yeah, whoever else, should, Joe, who else should come up? Okay, make sure, yeah, got it. Um, I know you guys aren't here for um, the road the road repair ordinance, <laughs> so uh, we obviously have a, a big group here to talk about uh, some of the great athletes and their achievements this, this uh, afternoon, so uh, first I'll have John Ranieri, you wanna? Sure. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. The Rosa Park Recreation Department has long enjoyed a level of support that is unlike most other recreational departments. We'd like to thank Mayor Signorello, Town Council, our Recreation Liaison, Councilman Petrowski, Andrew Casayas, Ken Blum, the Recreation Committee, the ASYC staff, volunteer coaches, and members. I'm honored and privileged to join the recognition of our Winter Recreational Sports Awards. First, wrestling. The season is completed the off season has begun. We're happy to report our teams represented Roseau Park well in all three leagues. We had a number of tournament place winners and champions. We would like to recognize the following outstanding accomplishments. Unfortunately, the 2023 Roseau Park Recreation Wrestling Coordinator could not join us, so allow me to introduce the wrestlers. The 2023 USA New Jersey Kid Scholastic State Wrestling Qualifiers. Bantam, 95 pounds, Hunter Apello. Congratulations. Junior, 70 pounds, Paul Toms. Junior, 80 pounds, Jake Apello. Unfortunately, Jake couldn't be here tonight. Junior, 90 pounds, Anthony Molinaro. <laughs> Junior, 120 pounds, Tarum Manuja. <laughs> Unfortunately, couldn't be here tonight. Intermediate, 98 pounds, Lucia Ranieri. and intermediate, 98 pounds, Maxwell Griffin. <laughs> and then, Mayor, yeah. next is gonna be the jackets. Jackets, yeah, yeah. Next, we'd like to introduce the 2023 USA New Jersey Scholastic State Wrestling Place winners. Bantam, 95 pounds, placing fifth, Hunter Apello. Yeah. Junior, 90 pounds, placing eighth, Anthony Molinaro. Yeah. Junior, 
Next, we'd like to introduce the 2023 USA New Jersey Kids Scholastic State Wrestling Champion. Girls, 14U, 101 pounds, state champion, Lucia Ranieri. Lastly, we'd like to recognize the 2023 Rosa Park Recreation Wrestling Volunteer Coaches. Craig Frost, Dan Pissarro, Russell Benner, Matt Kranicki, Chris Corral, Bob Apello, Troy McDermott, John Gora, Craig Montgomery, and Ryan Rooney. Congratulations, wrestlers. Next, basketball. The basketball numbers were very good. We had 11 teams practicing and competing in schools throughout the borough and county. We had over 76 games scheduled, not including the playoffs and championships that were held in the Roselle Park High School main gym. In addition, we registered for an all-star travel tournament. We'd like to congratulate the following. Please allow me Please allow me to ask the 2023 Roselle Park Recreation Basketball Coordinator to join us, Clark Crawford. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going to introduce the basketball champions from this past season's rec season. And we're going to start with the three to five Warriors. Number one, Celeste Tobar. Number two, Sophia Herrera. Number three, Brian Bautista. Number four, Ava Polinski. Number five, Thomas Skago. Number six, Audrey Carabello. Number seven, Gabriel Ringler. Number eight, Kendra Tobar. Number 11, Christian Larach. Number 12, Adriel Roca. Number 13, Mauricio Villela. And of course, the coaches, Dave Gago and Alfredo Roca. Congratulations, guys. I'm just going to, if I missed anybody.
So now we'll introduce the 2023 Roselle Park Rec Middle School Boys Champions. Number seven, Andrew Ariola. Number 16, Keon Bowman. Number eight, John Carlo Permisson. Number 12, Sebastian Estevez. Number 11, Ryan Varela. I screw it up all the time. Number five, Greg P. Number nine, Yang June Padilla. Number four, Colin King. And number six, Hunter Morales. And of course, our coaches, Todd King and Jose Perez. <laughs> Sorry, vertically challenged. <laughs> cool. Oh, cool. Hey, want to get them off the wall? Yeah. So this is the, these are the main here. Mr. Foy, you want to come up? Yeah. So obviously, uh, we're rep we have a, we're blessed to have a bunch of great uh, athletes here in the rec ranks, but we also have a bunch of fantastic athletes in the high school ranks. And you guys got to keep it up, right? So we win some more championships and stuff in the high school, right? Like I'm looking at all of you. No pressure, no pressure. We're gonna have you back though. Um, so with that said, Mr. Foy, you want to sure. list off our champions? Sure. sure. First off, I'd just like to thank Mayor Sig, Town and Council for having the high school athletes here tonight to be honored from the winter season. Uh, we had a fantastic winter season. We had a lot of special memories made, a lot of special accomplishments this year, and I'm glad we get to celebrate them here tonight with you. So uh, I'm going to call up. We have tonight uh, five total athletes that we're going to honor uh, in all different sports, uh, bowling, wrestling, as well as basketball, too. And we'll talk a little bit about their achievements and, and what they've done this year. So first up is going to be Javen Spates. If you'd like to come up, Javen, I know you're here. Come on up, Javen. I'm gonna take this out if you don't mind. Javen uh, is on our varsity basketball team. He's being honored tonight for scoring over 1,000 points. He scored 1,001 points to finish, to, finish his, to finish his high school career. And what's really amazing about that is um, he had a shortened season due to COVID, as well as some of our wrestlers, too, that, that we're going to talk about in, in a moment. So to accomplish that in his high school career with playing less games, about 12 less games than all the other people that have accomplished that in our, in our history here at Roselle Park High School is, re is really an accomplishment. And that's a credit to him and his hard work and dedication. Uh, the last game he was down about 27, we needed 27 points. Uh, he got them in our playoff game down in Rumson Fairhaven. Rumson Fairhaven was a very good basketball school, and it was a tough game for us. So come the fourth quarter, we weren't so sure if he was going to get those 1,000 points, but he, he kept grinding. He didn't let that get down on him. That only got eight minutes left here. I need about 14 points to get it, and we had about – 17 seconds, I would say. We were all getting nervous. The whole gym knew he was going for it, even, even the, the fans at Rumson Fairhaven. Even they, they were cheering him on when we were down here. And he got that last bucket to put him over 1,000 points to have him finish his career with 1,001 points. So congratulations, Javen. Congratulations. Want to take a, is mom here? I thought I saw mom. Mom, you want to come and take a picture? Yeah, come on.
Congratulations, job well done. Uh, the next person we're gonna honor is from our bowling team and that is Michael Martins. Come on up, Michael. Michael is a sophomore on our bowling team. For this year, 2023, he was the Union County Individual Champ, beating out the bowler from Westfield who beat him last year. So he was the top bowler in Union County for 2023. He's only a sophomore. Yep, you can clap that up. He is, he is only a sophomore. He's got two more years with us, and we're expecting great things and looking forward to see what he can accomplish. Um, he was also one of our leaders last year on our group, our group one state championship team. So there's a lot of good things going on in our bowling program. I know it doesn't get a lot of publicity. It's, it's just because it's a type of sport that's not even on our campus. Not one school has a bowling alley in, in their school. Everything's down there at, at, at Jersey Lanes or right outside Warren Echo Park. If you ever do get a chance to take in a high school bowling match, it is really something to see. Just the sportsmanship that's being demonstrated across all lanes with all teams because it's really a sport where you're pushing yourself. You're not really against opponent. It's sort of like track and field. You're always trying to make yourself better, get, get one more pin and add it onto your game. So an accomplishment to do it as a sophomore to be the Union County champ and pressure's on to see if he could do it next year, Mike. <laughs> no pressure, the pressure he puts on himself and that's why he's doing so well as a sophomore. Congratulations to Michael Martins. Stay here. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you. Okay, next up we're going to be our three wrestlers. We had three individual performances this year that were outstanding. I'm also going to open my phone here a little bit with some more information, so just give me a second here. So we're not going to go in weight order. We're not going to go in weight order. We're just, we're just going to have them come up. As, as I call them. So the first wrestler that we're gonna honor is senior Kevin Osorio. Kevin, come on up. This year, Kevin Osorio was the Uni County champ at heavyweight. He was our first championship, a champion in that weight class in 25 years. Um, which, is a, which is a big feat. That's a long time. And if I'm not mistaken, Coach Rooney, correct me if I'm wrong, did uh, Kevin pinned his way through the tournament? Ooh. Kevin, every match that he had at the Union County Tournament, he pinned his kid. He pinned, there was no decisions, there was no overtime. <laughs> pin, 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 pin. <laughs> and in the finals, he pinned the kid in 16 seconds. He pinned him in 16, he could probably pin me in three seconds. <laughs> that's how well, that's how well he was wrestling that day. He was super focused. He knew what he needed to do that day, and he, and he did it. And uh, congratulations, Kevin. It was, it was really a nice performance to watch over, over there at Kane College. Um, as well as that, he was also a, a Region 4 qualifier as well. So he had a really nice senior year, so congratulations, Kevin Osorio. <laughs> Kevin also played football for us. Our next, our next honoree, Matthew Griffin, he's already up here. He is our Union County champ at 120 pounds. He is our A, A Nice Invitational Champion, District 14 Champion, keep going, Region 4 Champion, career record of 93 and 33. That COVID year killed a lot of wrestlers, not just ours, but across the state that so close to getting that 100th hundred, win. But, you know, COVID came along and everything was, was, was out of whack. And he was also a, a state qualifier this year, going down there and having a record of two and two. So Matthew is also a senior for us outstanding contributor to our program. We are so happy that he had a successful senior, senior year and we wish him the best of luck going to the College of New Jersey next year, correct? Yes, nothing changed, just the last, sometimes they change their mind, I gotta double check. So congratulations, Matt. The last wrestler that we are going to honor tonight is also a senior, also going to the College of New Jersey. Very impressive, it's a very, very hard school to get into and a very good school academically. Mason Harms. Mason Harms was, yeah, roommates, right? <laughs> he was our Union County champ at 144 pounds. He was Union County champ there. Uh, a, a nice invitational champion. 
District 14 champion, Region 4 runner-up, four-time state qualifier. That means he went to the NJSA tournament every single year that he was in high school. Freshman all the way through his senior year and the first freshman that we had sent down there. Um, he finished his career tied for ninth on the all-times win list at Rosal Park High School with, and again, this is a very tremendous feat because we had a shortened COVID season. Um, his, I guess that was your junior year, so sophomore year already? Sophomore year already. It's a long time ago already. Um, a short and sophomore year, but he still ended his career with 111 wins. And that, that's amazing with, with, with that one season that was shortened out. Okay. Uh, the, the, like I said before, these three wrestlers are, are seniors. They had an outstanding senior season, and they have represented the Roseville Park program so well. I am so proud of these three individuals. They are great kids in the building. They play other sports. You see them out at the deli. They're always giving you a big hi. Hello, how are you? Very polite kids, very well-mannered kids. These three kids are going to be very, very successful after graduation from here at Roseville Park High School. And these are three kids, as long as, as, as with Javen, who's also a senior, that uh, make, make me proud to be the athletic director at Roseville Park High School, how well they represent our school, our community, their, their, and their family as well. So congratulations to all the honorees here tonight. Thank you. The meeting gets boring from here, guys. controversial because they were like oh we can bring it back and they're like it's not coming back they just couldn't get kids to do it or what they, yeah it was it they had a good they had a senior class and all the seniors graduated and they had nobody nuts wow. and they knew it was coming too yeah huh. there's just nobody there okay i'm gonna get going with the rest of this but uh don't feel like i'm kicking you guys out uh there are no communication i know i said that there are no meeting minutes for consideration this evening may I have a motion that bills and payrolls be not read and passed for payment so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, may I have a motion to open the public portion on agenda items only? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 If you'd like to come speak on agenda items, you may do so now. Cool. Uh, I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public portion on agenda items only? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, may I have a... Do you guys have anything verbal you want to do? I have a couple of things. Okay, you want to? Ken, Ken, do you have anything? Andrew, you want to hit us with it? Yeah, Mayor, I have a, a few things just to remind everybody um, on the elections front from the clerk's office. Voter registration deadline for the June primary is coming up on May 16th, so a little less than a month. June primary is June 6th. Uh, you can register in person, online, or by mail. Forms are available in my office if you need them. Uh, Borough-wide garage sales coming up on June 10th and 11th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. both days. Registration is free and voluntary. Um, if you register, it'll secure your space on the map, which is promoted regionally. Um, you can register online with the Google form, uh, post it on social media. It'll be posted periodically over the next several weeks. Um, or you could use a paper form, submit it to the clerk's office. Forms are available online as well. Um, on the QPA side, I just want to update the governing body. I've been working with the engineers to line up the 2023 capital, uh, capital program work, uh, even though the capital budget's not adopted yet. Once it is adopted in the coming month, uh, God willing, uh, we'll be able to hit the ground running in the summer. 
Um, from the administration side, uh, kind of similar to Capital, but a little different. I met with uh, representatives of Elizabethtown Gas today, along with the water company and their paving contractors, looking to line up uh, utility uh, restoration work um, for the coming uh, coming spring season prior to prior to the summertime. Um, I will note, uh, these are for their completed projects. There's about eight streets and many blocks of those streets that are gonna be paved curb to curb. Um, we're working to you know, leverage their obligations and our requirements um, to get those full, full streets paved. The governing body adopted a ordinance at the last meeting that requires all future permits uh, that are issued where ex street excavations are replaced curb to curb. These are old permits uh, that don't necessarily require that, but we're leveraging to make sure that it's fully restored. Fully restored. Um, and then one bit of good news on uh, the grant front: uh, we were, we did receive notice um, that we uh, were awarded eighty-six thousand dollars from the Department of Community Affairs, part of a local uh, recreation grant. Uh, that eighty-six thousand dollars will ultimately go toward the revitalization and reconstruction of Acker Park. Uh, we anticipate that the Acker Park project will cost somewhere around $2 million, just to put it in perspective for the members of the public. It is a complete overhaul of the park. We understand that the park is less than desirable as it sits right now. It's an unfortunate reality. Our parks are heavily used, and it's very hard for the municipality to keep up with them. So we kind of need to start with a fresh canvas. Um, the $2 million project that's scoped out right now will take some time to compile that money, but the $86,000 is a good start. We also have uh, about $45,000 in county money that we've received, and we're advocating for any other means of receiving money uh, to offset the cost of that park. That's all I have, Mayor. Cool. Uh, okay, may I have a motion to accept the reports of departments as submitted? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, ordinance is for second reading. Uh, Mr. Clerk, please read ordinance number 2718 by title. Yes, Mayor, ordinance 2718. Ordinance 2718 is an ordinance for second reading and public hearing, an ordinance amending various sections of Chapter 7 of the Code of the Borough of Rosal Park as they, uh, I'm sorry, entitled traffic, as they relate to parking regulations on Bridge Street. Uh, may I have a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance number 2718? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody wishing to come speak on this ordinance may do so now. Okay, I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2718? So moved. Second. <laughs> May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2718? All in favor? Aye. Aye. May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2718? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Uh, yes, Mayor. Just uh, to highlight what's happening here, uh, on Bridge Street, uh, as of now, the permit parking is no parking on one side from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and the other side is 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So what we're doing here is just cleaning up the permit parking, uh, enforcing it from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. so residents cannot park overnight if you don't have a permit. So this is what's happening here. Cool. Thank you very much, Councilman. Uh, any further discussion? I'm hearing no one. Uh, Andrew, please call the roll. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes in the affirmative, Mayor. The ordinance is adopted. Please read ordinance number 2720, Mr. Clerk. Yes, Mayor, ordinance 2720 is an ordinance for second reading and public hearing, an ordinance amending chapter 27, section six, subsection three of the Code of the Borough of Roselle Park entitled Imposition of Charges. Uh, may I have a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance number 2720? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Would anybody like to come up and speak on this ordinance? I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2720? So move. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2720. So move. Second. Is there any discussion? Andrew, please call the roll. Sorry, one second. Yep, take your time. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes in the affirmative, Mayor. The ordinance is adopted. Cool. Um, Andrew, please read ordinance number 2721 by title. Yes, Mayor. Ordinance 2721 is an ordinance for second reading and public hearing, an ordinance amending Chapter 7, Section 17, Subsection 1 of the Code of the Borough Roselle Park, until a preferential parking zone established. May I have a motion to open the public portion uh, hearing on ordinance number 2721? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Would anybody like to come up and speak on this ordinance? Schwartz is our reading to see if they want to come up and speak on it. 
You guys are cute with your glasses, by the way. The the blue and the red coordinating <laughs> looks pink. It takes a true man to wear pink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2721? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2721? So move. Second. Uh, is there any discussion? Andrew, are you ready to call the roll, pal? Yes. Call the roll. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rubina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes in front of the mayor. The ordinance is adopted. Andrew, please read ordinance number 2722 by title. Yes, Mayor. Ordinance 2722 is an ordinance for second reading and public hearing an ordinance amending various sections of Chapter 7 of the Code of the Borough of Roselle Park entitled Traffic as they relate to parking regulations on Union Road and Dalton Street. We have a motion to open the public portion on ordinance number 2722. So moved. Second. Is there any, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Would anybody like to come up and speak on this one? I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2722. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2722? So moved. Second. Uh, is there any discussion on this one? Yes, Mayor. Um, just, oh. just briefly. Yep. Uh, this is just, uh, I just want to thank uh, Andrew and uh, the Chief of Police with helping me work on this. This, this is a, a parking concern by uh, 157 House. Uh, we, we've been having a lot of residents, not residents, I, I want to say probably more so guests or, or visitors that come to the establishment and they're just outright parking there illegally. So this right here should help mitigate that and uh, persuade those customers to park in the parking lot or appropriate parking spaces. Cool. Thanks, Councilman. Anybody else? Uh, do I have a motion to adopt? Yep. Just need to Call the roll, please. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes the affirmative mayor. The ordinance is adopted. Please read 2723 by title, Andrew. Yes, Mayor. Ordinance 2723 is an ordinance for second reading and public hearing an ordinance appropriating $400,000 received from the Coronavirus State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds Program to provide for various capital improvements in the Borough of Roselle Park. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance number 2723? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Would anybody like to come up and speak on this? Uh, I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2723? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2723? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Uh, just a reminder, this is a big sum of money, uh, so anybody who's seen 400K, um, we got this one from Uncle Sam, uh, so American Rescue Plan, is it American Rescue Plan? What was yes. It? Yeah, we got $1.2 million. Um, one of the things I didn't love about it is, it is, you know, you're only allowed to use it for certain things, uh, budget shortfalls, um, uh, water purification or uh, air purification. Um, we've gotten creative with how we use it. I think this is the last or close to the last tranche that we have. Um, but this will be going towards this is going towards the sewer work that's going to take us out of Elizabeth. Correct. Is what this sewer tranche. separation. Yep. Yeah. So we we're getting nasty grams because Elizabeth wants us to be on our own sewer line. So this goes towards getting us on that. Thank you. Thank you, legal counsel, for taking care of the legal <laughs> end of it. Uh, okay. Any further discussion? Andrew, call the roll. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes in front of mayor. The ordinance is adopted. Andrew, please read ordinance number 2724 by title. Yes, Mayor. Ordinance 2724 is an ordinance for introduction, ordinance amending chapter 7, entitled Traffic, and establishing section 45 to be entitled Vehicular Repairs on Public Streets. Uh, may I have a motion to approve ordinance number 2724 for introduction and fix the date for second reading and public hearing as May 4th, 2023? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> may I have a motion to table the question on introduction of 2724 until the next regular meeting scheduled for May 4th, 2023? So moved. Second. Uh, Andrew, please call the roll. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes the affirmative mayor. The ordinance, further consideration of the ordinance is tabled till May 4th, 2023. Andrew, please read ordinance number 2725 by title. Yes, Mayor. Ordinance 2725. In order to introduction, ordinance amending Chapter 10, Section 4, Subsection 4.1 of the Code of the Borough of Roselle Park, entitled Recreation Fees Enumerated. 
Uh, may I have a motion to approve ordinance number 2725 for introduction and fix the date for second reading and public hearing as May 4th, 2023? So move. Second. Is there any discussion? Andrew, please call the roll. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rubina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes in the affirmative, Mayor. The ordinance is introduced. All matters listed with an asterisk are considered to be routine and non-controversial by the council will be approved by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a member of the governing body so requests, in which case the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda as part of the general orders. Um, Andrew, please read the resolutions. Yes. Resolution 119.23 is authorizing and directing the municipal land use board to investigate whether all or a portion of the property identified as block 606, lots 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 36.01 and 38 of the municipal tax map constitute a non-condemnation redevelopment area pursuant to the local redevelopment and housing law NJSA 40A colon 12A dash 1 and set. Resolution 120-23 is awarding a professional services contract with with consulting and municipal engineer CME Associates <coughs> for professional planning services associated with a non-condemnation redevelopment study of block 606, lots 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 36.01, and 38 of the tax map of the Burr of Roselle Park in an amount not to exceed $11,854. Resolution 121-23 is awarding a professional services contract to McManaman, and Scotland, and Bauman, LLC for redevelopment Council services associated with a non condemnation redevelopment study of block 606, lots 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 36.01, and 38 of the municipal tax map in an amount not to exceed $4,000. <coughs> Resolution 122 23 is authorizing change order number one to Riverview Paving Inc. for the project year 48 CDBG road program improvements to Webster Avenue in an amount of a $6,284.24 increase to reflect the total contract amount of $321,183.19 after all change orders. Resolution 123-23 is congratulating the Rotary Club of Roselle, Roselle Park on its 100th anniversary. Resolution 124-23 is rescinding resolution number 279-20. And resolution 125-23 is granting permission to Girls on a Mission with Ambition to operate a social affair permit granted by the New Jersey Division of Alcoholic Beverage Control in Michael J. Morey Park as part of the Burr of Roselle Park's 2023 Juneteenth celebration. Cool. Uh, do any members wish to have any items removed from the consent agenda? 119. Okay. One, wait, 119? Yes. I was going to say there's no 118. You said 119. You said, you said, you said 118. No, 19. 19. 19. He, he said I, 18. I heard 18. 18. You heard 18. 19. 19. <laughs> Change as it went through. It's a new place. If I said 119, 119. <laughs> Just so we could have a hey, hey, Jay, you said 119. <laughs> it's the new mics. <laughs> Bro, what is this? We're on one side here. We stand uh, no, together. No, no. I'm back in jail. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, okay. Do I have a motion to approve the resolutions remaining on the consent agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, Conjon was supposed to pull this one. It's his ward. <laughs> um, <Got him. laughs> what's that? I got him too. <laughs> okay, there you go. It was a, it was a con, it was a con John oh, plan. Bro, what are you guys doing over there? I'm changing the seating order. Right. <laughs> changing the seating order up. I don't like that. Um, would it, uh, may I have a motion to adopt resolution 119-23? So move. Second. <laughs> uh, is there any discussion? What do you got? Yeah, Mayor, uh, just if the borough administrator or business administrator can identify what block 606 and the lot numbers, what area is that specifically? Yeah, so broadly speaking, it is, um, it's the castle and then there's a, a building immediately to the left of the council, uh, the castle or whatever. It's called Los Altos now it's called. So it's that building immediately to the left of Los Altos all the way down to the um, gas station. Corner. The corner. It actually includes one little residential house too, just because it kind of makes it a clean rectangle versus like cutting out that one little thing. But, you know, just to be clear, <clears throat> we haven't done one of these in a while. So this is non condemnation, right? So nobody's going to get kicked out of their house or run out of business. This is purely a study to investigate whether this area would qualify as an area need a redevelopment study. Uh, there has been a bunch of ideas that, you know, I've been pitched as what could work there. Um, quite frankly, I'm going to stop using quite frankly because I'm getting back into my old habits of saying frankly all the time. Um, what I've heard desire for in that area by people that own property there is potentially a hotel, 
right? So obviously there's new owners of Los Altos, right? They have a bunch of guests that come from around the world to do weddings and so on and so forth there. So it would be nice potentially to have them have a hotel there versus sending them to the Cranford Hotel. Um, but all this is subject to – that's just fantasies here until a, uh, div- until a planner says that this qualifies for an area you need a redevelopment. And then even after that, it's subject to a potential developer and what the redevelopment agreement would look like and uh, obviously approval of the council. Did I miss anything there or misspeak anywhere, Andrew? Okay. How was that? How was that, Con John? Let me talk to him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I gotta keep an eye on this side of the <laughs> Rosanna. You you tell me what's going on over there. All right? Tell me afterwards. No, is she? It. Is she I'm, at, wait. Pulling it slowly. Yeah. Don't all right. All right. Watch your back, Con John. Watch your back. <laughs> okay. We have a motion to approve. Got it. Okay, uh, Andrew. Any other questions from this side? The loyal side. <laughs> oh, yes, I, oh. Semi loyal. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is Greg's on that. <laughs> um, uh, any questions on the side? No? Good? Greg, what do you guys say, bro? Go ahead. Uh, I, don't have to, I, don't want, I don't want any problems. Call, 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 call the roll, Andrew. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rubina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Six votes the affirmative, Mayor. The resolution is adopted. Excellent. That wasn't that hard, was it? No. <laughs> I mean, I was sweating a little bit. <laughs> Dude, I've done bigger projects than this. This is small potatoes. You should have seen year one, Mayor. You did see year one, Mayor. <laughs> Anyone want to talk about Sullivan? Not tonight? All right, fair enough. Reports of borough council slash committees. Uh, start off with Councilman at large. You're always last. Go ahead, Sig. I'll make it short tonight. This allergies. Just uh, wanted to say I attended the opening of next door to Bella Wines and Spirits. I, I just gotta say, I've been in that building numerous times, fire inspections, fire calls, and this and that, but wow, they have stuff in there. Um, they have a variety of everything and everything. And uh, I wish best wishes for them and the borough. It's always like to see uh, any business prosper. And, um, and I mentioned it to my wife that we should look and to go in there and look in because they have a little of everything. Um, I want to say I went Friday, Saturday night to the Aldine uh, Tricky Tray and I learned a little bit about going to a Tricky Tray and next time. I was there too. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ready next time because I messed up a little bit. I had a good time. So I had a great it. time. Had, uh, uh, no, it's my time. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I learned a little bit. Like I said, next year I'm coming with guns blazing. I got to come with a, a, a folder. I, I, I learned a little bit, but good time. Uh, a good, good. Wow, it's nice to see the support for the PTO. What that's uh, the end of the line, uh, you know, to help the school or whatever they do over there. That that's the nice thing to see the support, the money they raised, and um, next year you got to get two coffee pots. So other than that. Uh, as in my uh, my report, um, you need me, uh, Jay Signorella at rosalpark.net. Have a good evening. Thank you, Councilman. I'm going to go with Councilman Patel next so he stops scheming on me. Feels like a little bit of love. Go ahead, Councilman Patel. We were just discussing something. Come on. Well, you got to do your report now, bro. All right. Uh, <laughs> if I may. Uh, good evening. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, on April 15th, I attended the Spring Community Cleanup, joined by the 150 volunteers who helped clean up Rosa Park. I encourage each and every resident to help us keep this community clean. A number of residents have reached out to me about the pro- uh, proposing ordinance 2724 about uh, school rep- uh, vehicle repairs on the street. Thank you, Mayor, for tabling the issue. As Council Chair of Rosa Park Commerce on April 15, I attended the ribbon cutting ceremony at Bella Wines and Spares, located right next to the bar hall. So if you're leaving, I know you check it out all the time. So uh, at 112 East Westville Avenue. Ma- um, and make sure to uh, check in and support the new business in town. As Leo's on to the Environmental Commission, sign-ups for renting a seasonal plot at the community garden are due tomorrow f- at 421. Please contact the commission directly to sign up uh, for the bed rental. The commission will also be at the Meet the Borrow event to answer any questions will be this Saturday. Also, the 
Rosebud Green Team needs members. The group is looking for people who can who are passionate about making Rosa Park a greener and more sustainable community through action, communication, and partnership. Please contact council or the mayor if you are interested, or come to the next Green Team meeting uh, next Monday, uh, 4:24 at 5:30 at the library. Um, I would like to highlight some of the events that will be happening on April 22nd. The Meet the Borough. Uh, event will be hosted at Casano Community Center between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. On April 28th, the Borough of Rosa Park will be celebrating Arbor Day 2023 with its annual Arbor Day ceremony beginning at 10 a.m. at Rosa Park Middle School. April 29th, the Rosa Park High School Marching Band and the Color Guard will be hosting Tricky Tray, Tricky Tray for Questions or ticket, please email RPHS band parents at AOL.com. The New Jersey Vehicle Commission Agency on the Wheel will be returning to Rosa Park on May 22nd, but the event was already full, so watch out for news linked uh, on Borough's social media or contact the Casana Community Center at 908 245 Lastly, um, Rosa Park introduced my Rosa Park app that has current features. I know Mayor was big on this, so thank you so much for and, um, having an app. You, you could use the app to report non-emergency issues, upload photos with geotagging, and receive information about local events, news, and notifications. The app is free. Just download it from your App Store or Google Play. And ordinance, uh, I just want to last thank you, uh, the council, uh, for passing the ordinance 2718, the parking regulations on Bridge Street. Uh, thank you, Andrew, for helping me with this. And I know the residents will be pleased to hear about the new ordinance. And if you need to get in contact with me, you can email me at kpatel at rosapark.net or call me at 908-726-8774. Thank you so much, Mayor. Yep, excellent report. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Councilwoman uh, Lyons. <laughs> Were you going to say another name? I was going to say, <laughs> so I just did your I just did your letter thing, and I'm like, is it? am I supposed to say Antonuccio Lyons? What am I like? I, <laughs> I know, I had that in, the Antonuccio. Um, good evening, Mayor and Council, and all these beautiful residents, and anybody watching from home. Hi, Mom. My mom watches. Um, no, uh, it's great to see everyone here, and uh, it's great to hear how many things are happening in Roselle Park. I, too, I don't want to be repetitive, but I'll do little snippets of, of what we've all done. Um, I went to the ribbon cutting ceremony for Bella Wines and Spirits, and meeting the family is what it's all about. I love knowing who the owners are to the businesses, and they are such a wonderful family. Um, so it is family owned, and that's really important to say because you know what? Sometimes there are multiple businesses that may be similar, but it is good to support, and, and uh, they really have an awesome selection. It's bright in there. It's beautiful, and it's a great spot, so definitely visit. Um, I also attended the, the uh, Springboro um, cleanup, and that was amazing. I just want to applaud Councilman uh, Jay um, for really even just like, uh, doing all that you did, and Rupin Shaw from uh, the Casano uh, Center. He really had such everything organized. People were in line, handing, you know, those little grabbers and everything. So I really applaud him um, and everyone that came out. I loved the event because it was seniors to little kids, like, and everyone in between. And I got to see familiar faces. And as we're walking, I'm like, I knew you when you were 11. And now you're 45. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, wait, what's your name? No, but it's great to, to be part of town and uh, to do things with each other. So that was a great event. Um, what else? The Tricky Tray event. Oh, oh my fun. God. I have to. You guys are awesome. What did you, you won the duck thing, right? I did. The duck thing was a cool tray. I got a duck that had like glasses and a chain, <laughs> and I think it wrapped. <laughs> 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 um, so, okay, so I just have to say real quick Mayor and, and Constance comes running up to me, and they're like, do comedy. I'm like, no way. <laughs> There's four. How many women were there, or people were there? 400? How much? <laughs> 
250? 250 people, 99% of women. How do you get them to stop and stand still? <laughs> you count. <laughs> they had 20 minutes to put tickets in the tricky tray, like little baskets. I started counting. I was like 10, 9, 8. They all had heart attacks and looking at me like they were going to charge the stage. It was fun. Um, I, I thank you for that. But you guys did really a great job. And, and just uh, being part of that, please, uh, I want to hire you <laughs> for events. No, really. It was, it was awesome. Um, what else? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I went to the library board meeting last night. They are doing awesome. Uh, just please go to rosalpark.net. Rosalpark net or download Sorry. the app has all the events on it too. oh yes the app i love the app um yeah you could see everything that they have um they have an earth day story and craft time uh this saturday um they also have in may junior sh chef cupcake decorating i might have to go to that um alex does say that anything that has to do with food there's a lot of people there so i can understand that we also have it's called the Quilting Club. I just have to say a joke. Jeff Regan, I love him. He looks at me last night and says, what's the Guilting Club? <laughs> I, said, I said, moms go there and learn how to guilt their children. No, um, it's the Quilting Club. Okay, so um, Saturday, things that are coming up. Saturday, please come out. Any new residents, meet the borough, meet us, meet the businesses, hopefully, that are, are joining. Um, we want to welcome you. We have little gifts, and we're going to have a good time. 11 a.m. at the Cassandra Center. Um, and the other things, Arbor Day, Middle School, Memorial Day is coming up. Thank God for good weather. And that is my report. And please reach out to me, 908-726-8773. Text me or leave a message if I don't uh, pick up right away. And, um, or email me, rlyons at rosalpark.net. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilman Rabina. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Mayor, colleagues, and good evening, Rosal Park. Um, on April 12th, I attended the special meeting of Mayor Council. I'm probably the only one on council that didn't attend the Bella Wines and Spirit Grand Opening, but I got good reason. I was painting the baby's room. Baby is expected within the next couple of weeks. So uh, Earlier this week, I did stop in to visit Bella uh, Wines and Spirits. Place may look small from the outside, but it's huge. It's got uh, 40 refrigerator units and a great selection of beverages. Yesterday, I attended the 2023 Invasive Species Strike Team Conference at Duke Farms, learning about key wildlife diseases, invasive plants, forest pest, and pathogen updates. Folks, there are a lot of invasive plants choking out our trees and wildlife. Before you begin any new planting or landscaping this spring, please visit the Environmental Commission's Facebook page for a comprehensive list of plants to avoid. On April 15th, I did attend the Clean Community Spring Cleanup. As Clean Community's liaison, I'd like to say thank you. We had over 15 groups join us with a total of 150 volunteers collecting hundreds of pounds of trash and debris. Uh, special thanks to Rupin Shaw, Councilman Johnson, Councilwoman Lyons, Antonuccio Lyons, well, <laughs> Councilman Patel, and huge thanks to our community's parents, most importantly, who lead by example by teaching the next generation to care about their community. And to Cub Scout Pack 56, Boy Scout Troop 56, Rosa Park Soccer, National Junior Honor Society, Knights of Columbus 3240, Sherman PTA, Community United Methodist Church, the Rosa Park Girl Scouts, Rosa Park High School SAS Club, the Cassano Center Association, House 157 Restaurant, Breakwater Treatment and Wellness. Also thanks to Union County for loaning us a number of supplies, including the grabbers. Folks, we do these events twice a year, and the fact that we still collect hundreds of pounds each time we go out, we got to do better. So please, for our kids, for our families, for your home and community, please put trash where it belongs. Keep it out of our sewers, off school grounds, parks, and our open spaces. For those who may be asking, hey, it's DPW, could they do it? They could, and they could collect trash, but the answer is sure. However, it takes their skilled labor and our taxpayer dollars away from higher party projects like our trees, roads, and infrastructure. So please keep our community clean put trash where it belongs. Uh, this Saturday is National Trails Day, so time to get out of the house and explore the outdoors. No matter if it's walking, riding bike, or visiting our local uh, parks and county parks or trails, it's time to get some fresh air and unplug and disconnect. There's plenty of activities out there. 
Uh, if you're interested, enter Celebrate Trails Day in your web browser to search for local events in and around Roselle Park. Uh, also, we are exactly a month away with May 20th being our first ever tour to Roselle Park and our third annual bike clinic and helmet giveaway. We had over 50 residents sign up for the bike ride and we're gonna have uh, for the bike clinic, AAA Northeast, bicycle, uh, Bob's Bicycle Service attending, Union County Division of Children's and Youth Services, New Jersey Bike and Walk Coalition, helmets are donated by Safe Kids Union County, Ch uh, Children's Specialized Hospital and Westfield Regional Health Department. If anyone is interested in volunteering with setup, <laughs> Uh, assisting with helmet fittings or the giveaway table, please let me know. Um, Fifth Ward, I'm here for you at 862-236-0019 and jrevine at rosalpark.net. Mayor, that concludes my report. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Councilman Johnson. Oh, Joe, Thank you're you. last night. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor, David Council, residents. <laughs> Uh, at this time, I would like to go over the past respective meetings that I attended and supported the past few weeks. First, I attended uh, the borough special uh, workshop meeting. Um, next, I attended um, the Rosa Park uh, uh, community cleanup, spring cleaning. I mean, wow, it was truly amazing. Uh, the reason why I'm speeding through my report because it just sounds like the rest of the reports. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bella's Wines attended, great, amazing. But all in all, just seeing uh, the community that Saturday, it was really, really busy Saturday for us. Between Aldean, you guys doing something, uh, between um, the clean spring cleaning, community cleanup, and um, Bella's um, wine and uh, spirit ribbon, I just have to say that it was truly amazing to see uh, collectively the community come together, just like uh, uh, Councilwoman uh, Rosanna mentioned. That's truly amazing. Um, all in all, that just showed me that we're stronger together and that we need to focus less on tearing each other down and focus more on building one another up. That's what a good community is about. And lastly, uh, I attended the diversity and inclusion uh, committee meeting. And um, Chris, uh, you could keep me straight. Uh, our Pride uh, karaoke night event will be hosted at uh, Los Altos. All right, he gave me the nod, <laughs> so I must be in the good. Uh, otherwise, uh, please remember your vote matters, and as First Ward Council, I will always uh, place the concerns of the residents in Roselle Park first, because um, local um, concerns matter. If you need to get in contact with me, please give me a call at 908-303-1519, or you can email me, which is my preference, gjohnson at roselleparknet Mayor, that concludes my report. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Petrosky, save the best for last. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I want to send my condolences out to the John Cray family. Um, John Cray was a 1976 graduate of Roosevelt Park High School, which I graduated high school with John, okay? I know John lived in Florida, and uh, great guy. His brother uh, lives on Ashwood, uh, uh, Michael. So my condolences go out to his family. Uh, also, Deborah Satz. Uh, uh, resident of the second ward. Uh, again, my condolences go out to the family. Uh, April 12th, I attended this special meeting about the budget. Uh, uh, you know, so we're getting there. It's soon. We'll be, uh, we'll have to, I get, believe the next meeting will be. Passed. Yeah, we're going to look to introduce. Okay. Uh, the, on the 13th, I attended the Meridian event. Uh, they had a uh, guy singing on the guitar. Very uh, great turnout, um, and uh, they had food from uh, uh, the diner. So, uh, you know, uh, and it was very well attended. Uh, on the 15th, I attended Ribbon Cutting, uh, Bella Wines and Spirit. Um, the 17th, I attended the historical meeting. Again, uh, they're reaching out uh, for donations, uh, RP History at rosewellpark.net is their website, so you can contact, get through there. Uh, um, and what the money is gonna go for is that they have many uh, stuff at the uh, uh, museum, and it's small. So they're looking to uh, get a container to store the stuff. And uh, so if you could reach out uh, and donate, um, it will be appreciated. 
Uh, the 19th, we tended to recreation meeting. Um, again, uh, we, uh, we uh, talked about uh, on Memorial Day, we have leftover candy um, from the uh, East Ray uh, candy uh, hunt. So we're gonna be giving it out at the, after Memorial Day, uh, the parade. So uh, uh, any questions, you can contact Tina, who's our uh, uh, chairman. So uh, today I attended the uh, joint sewer. Uh, uh, basically we approved uh, inventory and we updated uh, lawyers for appointments. Um, so, uh, and then there's still that one closed matter issue and I'm still not allowed to talk about it, but as soon as I can, I will update everyone on it. I want to thank uh, the mayor and council for letting the uh, recreation come in today, um, the basketball wrestling. Uh, what an honor, we have a sophomore who was number one in uh, bowling in Union County. So it's good we have him for two more years. Um, again, the uh, basketball player who scored a thousand points in his career. And again, with COVID, don't forget they missed out on a lot of games. So I, I, I do, uh, that's an honor. Um, and uh, and then of course, you know, the, the uh, uh, wrestlers and everything, you know, great uh, thing. And I was glad the younger kids, uh, and again, I wanna congratulate Coach Ranieri's daughter, Lucia uh, Ranieri, for being the state champ. So uh, what an honor. Um, like that. So um, you need to contact me, get me at jpetrosky at rosalpark.net, 908-666-7821. And that's my report. I'd like to bring Lucia back on her own. 100%. For when, you know, being the state champ. Whatever okay. you like to. Yep. Okay, I will talk to her father and mother. Yeah, and, um, sounds okay. good. Cool. And that's my report. Thank you. Hey, hey, Mayor, if I may, I just wanted to uh, say kudos to you for bringing Rattletech and that te uh, technology. It's truly amazing. Um, I'm going. I'm in school right now for uh, public administration, and actually, we talk about digital transformation and governments uh, that are increasingly adopting digital technologies to streamline uh, operations and improve services delivery to citizens. And this actually, and and, and engage citizen uh, feedback. And this is a, a, exactly a primary example of that. Yeah. So. I mean, it's just so I, I, I just, thank you, Greg. It, it segues into honestly my report. Like, download the app um, for all of you guys who have called the DPW, reached out to me for a pothole, reached out with one of the councilmen for a pothole or a tree. It is so much easier to just use the app because it goes directly to the Department of Public Works or the relevant uh, party. Most of these are DPW things. Um, the cool thing is, is like rather than me writing down notes about like what address it is and where it might be, you could literally send an exact picture of the tree or the pothole along with the geolocation of it and God willing, <laughs> hoping that our DPW knows how to use it on the back end, which is still a big question mark. They will be able to know exactly where it is, exactly what the complaint is. And also, quite frankly, it gives us a level of, you know, before, you know, it was kind of nebulous to figure out and track how many complaints we were solving, how many things we were issuing. Now we can see on a list we get 100 complaints a month and we have take down 90 of them or whatever it is. So, um Kudos to Andrew and actually Rupin has really done like a fantastic job, like project managing and cracking the whip and get this done. The Rattlesack guys are awesome too. And honestly, for the result they have, like, like it's not perfect, but we're not paying a ton for it either, to be honest with you, which is great. Um, so download that app for sure. Stop calling me about your tree issues. Put it, put it on the app. <laughs> Stop calling Joe about your tree issues. Put it on the app because I don't get them all from Joe P. Um... I wanted to talk about two other things, but I can't read my handwriting. Oh, um, Andrew, happy that we uh, did a meeting with the uh, – was it just Elizabethtown Gas or was it both today? Oh, there was a field meeting. Field meeting. Yeah, so a long story short, you're not going to see any half-paved paved roads on the union side of town. Um, and you're never going to see any app paid rows ever again. Exactly. That's right. Moratorium on that. One is because we passed a ordinance that now they have to pay for end-to-end -end paving, which is great. Uh, secondly, um, 
yeah, it's the last I'll ever want to hear about it. <laughs> we're, we're done with that. Um, the good news is I do think pending some of the horse trading we're going to do with, with the utilities companies, we're going to get uh, Webster mostly. Just give me the highlights. What, what, what does it look like we're going to do? West Colfax from Laurel Colfax. to Chestnut yeah. will be done finally. Uh, Locust Street, the county is actually going to do. Um, the, do you want me to name side streets? No, no. The side streets, though, what I will say is you're either going to get a curb-to-curb – we'll share a map on it. Um, but we will get curb-to-curb park, uh, paving. There are certain areas like uh, – Larch doesn't have any – Larch doesn't have curbs. So where there's, where there's not existing – quality at least infrastructure of any quality yeah we're going to opt to do that as a municipal project so in a, at a point in the near future so this is no slight to former mayor diorio sorry pal we're gonna do that as a municipal project and give you guys curbs over there yeah so <laughs> oh you've got your headphones in oh, okay fair enough don't worry about it I'll tell you afterwards <laughs> whoever wins the wrestling match will <laughs> i'm just i'm kidding um so um oh. <laughs> uh, good roads. What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so roads paved. Cool. That's a good thing. Um, and I just want to say, once again, uh, the Tricky Trade was a blast. I just got my voice back today, but Cindy, um, Constance, you guys did a great job. Um, I'm really still upset that I didn't win in my pillow, but what are you going to do? <laughs> it's not in the cards. Um, but I had so much fun doing it. Um, and uh, I think you guys made a bunch of money, which is the eyes on the prize there is the good thing. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, Mayor Sig at Rosalpark.net. And uh, that concludes my report. Um, may I have a motion to open the public portion on any subject? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody? Aye. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, is the light red? red? It's red. Yep. You're on. Okay. Uh, Christian Maker B36 Woodside Gardens. Uh, hold the, hold the mic a little bit closer. Close. Better. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Christian Maker B36 Woodside Gardens. Uh, Mayor, can I just direct this um, question to Fifth Ward Councilman Robina? Sure. Yeah. Get ready uh, for get ready for a fastball, Councilman. <laughs> <That'll be quick. laughs> um, so, Councilman, as you are aware I do live in Woodside Gardens. Um, my apartment faces directly the, the Rahway Valley line. Um, so I have a pretty much a clear image of, you know, the work that's being done with um, NJDOT. Is there an update as to when the next phase is gonna be? Yes, as a matter of fact, we were in communication with them today. Uh, Andrew, you wanna jump in on this one? From what I understand, it's late spring, early summer for phase two of the cleanup. Right, so, the, so phase one has been completed, which are the hazardous trees. Uh, phase two, which is the, the, the brush and the small growth, for lack of a better word, would be late spring, early summer. Um, and then we'd fall, in, fall into a phase three. I'm not going to quote what it is, Chris, just because I don't remember it offhand. Um, but that's the basic timeline. Um, they are slow, because DOT is typically slow. Um, but that is the, that's the timeline. I reached out today. Uh, I'm going to share whatever update I do get with the councilman so that he can share it out to his constituents. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Would anybody else like to come speak? Going once, going twice. Yo. <clears throat> Lucy Figueroa, 330 Chardon Avenue. So I've been here before, and Joe Petrasky lives across the street from me. And I've always complained about living down the street and cars zooming by. And the other day I'm sitting there and Joe, you guys should come and see. Cars fly by and I don't, they don't care that there's stop signs. They run the stop signs. I do not understand how there's a school right at the corner. And I know you have a cop there because I've actually asked the cop to give people tickets because they parked on my driveway They've run the stop signs all the time. They do not care that there is school there. And I really think you should think about putting that bump. You have it by 7-Eleven. Why wouldn't you put it by the schools? Um, what I part? heard, you know, you might put it by Walnut, sure, Walnut no, Street. No, no, no. I heard that promise. Mayor, yeah. Whoa, 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 Listen. whoa, 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 whoa. 
There is nothing on the record. <laughs> oh, is I, there? Is there video? <laughs> I, I recorded it. I recorded it as you gave me the sugar daddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, um, what's the apparatus? I didn't hear you with the <laughs> mic. So. No, what I'm saying is, um, by 7-Eleven, there's a bump, where a speed bump. Yes. So why would you put it by 7-Eleven, but you won't put it by the schools? So uh, can I just say, in general, um, the problem with speed bumps is right, like broadly, and uh, the the record on how effective they are is like meh. Right, like it, it, it works. It doesn't help a ton. Um, very candidly, it also just destroys the roads. Right. So the problem is, is when you have snow, plows go over it. It's rough for the roads. Right. Now, obviously, safety comes first. Correct. Um, what I would do is, uh, I think, uh, look, I'm going to come tomorrow morning and come check it out. Okay. Right. Thank you. Uh, okay. Joe's right there. I, I will literally. Uh, I wake up at seven a.m. I will come. What, what, what time school start? Uh, eight twenty. I only have cats. I don't have kids. So eight twenty. Is that a good time to go check it out? Can you meet me in my porch. I'll make you coffee. There we go. P perfect. I will meet you for coffee at eight. Okay. Um, but uh, I'll come check it out. And uh, what I can say is, we have also gotten creative with things that are not necessarily bumps, but could help alleviate some of the things like I got to tell you actually for as somebody who you know once in a while you're not paying attention to the speeding like the flashing beacons also help a decent amount right yeah, but well, what you're saying is it's running the the stop sign it's is that not what you're the saying? one by the school it's the one by um clay clay, clay. okay right. that's the offender that's the one. and is and it is it is it running a stop sign or it's just going fast no no sign. they run the stop sign yep. my husband and I sit out there because for garbage I, clay like, and shirt and really they leave Grant and they go. They yeah. pick, drop their kids off and and they, they just go. go. They yeah, they they don't care. I, I've talked to Don, uh, the new police chief, so he's uh, he told me he he'll give a look at. It. But I I still see it, it happened no, today. And, and it happens during the day. It happens at yeah. night. I mean, yeah. if you like, I can sit out there and take pictures for you and come next. No, no, I'll come. Show you. No, no, I'll come. I believe you. I just, trust me. I don't. I, I see. Just, yeah, you know, myself. The, when I'm there. I I just the other thing is so speed bumps are often employed for. Speed, that's why they're called speed bumps, speeding, right? I don't know. Councilman Johnson's probably the only one that knows on the dais whether or not it works for blowing stop signs. But it sounds like, like I don't want to say it's a na all I got is a hammer. Everything looks like a nail, right? If there's other things we could do to make the stop sign more apparent or enforce that, I'd rather use that than a, than a speed bump when a speed bump's really for, for speed, right, versus right. speeding. No, I get versus it. Versus blowing me, a stop I know sign. You, you've I know you guys have done a lot. Yeah. I'm just telling you, I, me, myself, I sit out there with my husband. Yeah. And we see cars just fly by. Yeah. And I've even told people, what's the rush? You're going from one stop to another stop sign. Why are you speeding? I wonder if people were doing repairs outside on their street, if it would slow things down. I don't know, but I mean. I <laughs> I'm sorry. I took up your three minutes for a joke. That's but, a problem. But I will be, I will be. Oh, nice. Oh, th wait, wait. Yes. We slowed down. Your three minutes are up, but I will, I'm coming tomorrow morning. I'm sorry. You don't mean that. <laughs> you don't mean that. <laughs> Anybody else? Hot takes. Views on car washes. Oh, come on, Chris. Come on, bro. Don't do that to me. Uh, Chris Monroe, 146 West Lincoln Ave. Uh, the mayor touched on it, but I just want to um, shout this out to let everybody you know to support the class of 2024 um, at the Rosa Park High School for the mayor's upcoming wrestling match on May 6th at 7 p.m. Make sure you guys come out. You could get tickets at the high school. They're only um, or online. Um, I'll post the information up there. I'm excited for it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a steel chair to the head or something. Dior <laughs> who's getting it ready. He's got one with my name on it. Just back of the head. Do me a favor. Put me out for a little while. <laughs> Motion for me. Huh? Nothing. Anyway. Uh, anybody else? Cool. All right. I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public portion? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Lovely meeting, everybody. Oh, uh, dope. I need to adjourn the meeting. May I have a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Lovely meeting, everybody. All right.